हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डू द पार्ट टू जस्ट नाउ वी कंप्लीटेड द पार्ट वन इन दैट वन वी डिजाइन द टोपोलॉजी एंड वी टोल्ड हाउ टू मेक द हाउ टू डिजाइन द टोपोलॉजी एंड हाउ टू कनेक्ट द केबल्स हाउ टू टेक द कंप्यूटर्स असाइन द आई पी वी लर्न इन अवर पार्ट वन नाउ इन द पार्ट टू इफ यू रिमेंबर इन पार्ट वन वेन वी पिंग इट इज नॉट वर्किंग बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव द रीचेबिलिटी एंड वी टोल्ड this router cannot exchange this route to the other router same thing this router cannot exchange this route this router will not exchange this information will not exchange until and unless we configure routing protocol so now we are going to learn how we can configure the routing protocol and we are going to do the routing protocol configuration so first of all you need to assign the ip and then you need to do the configuration so i will take the cli of r1 if you see i go to the cli of r1 and here i am going to assign the ip and i am going to configure the uh, routing protocol we are going to use the ospf okay so first time we will write no here and after that after that let me make this way okay so you can see this is a r1 so we will go in the privilege mode then i will go in the global configuration mode by using the config t i will change the name of the router host name r1 i will give as the name is r1 then after that what i will do i will assign the ip so you need to observe here this is a fast ethernet 0 by 0 so we will write interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 and then assign the ip whatever ip we plan i will write ip address this is the ip we plan so we need to write this one 192.168 1.1 give space we need to write the subnet mask we will write the subnet mask then write no shut because by default all the cisco router interface is done we need to write no shut so this one one side we finish this one is finish okay now we need to do the other one one interface configuration is finish we need to do the other interface configuration so what i will do i will do this one fast ethernet 1 by 0 so i will write here interface fast ethernet 1/0 i will write here ip address whatever ip we plan here if you see we wrote this one 192.168 13.0 so i will write 192.168.13.1.255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut so this one also finish now we need to do this one f0 by 1 so i will write here interface f0 by 1 and i will write here ip address whatever ip we plan this 1.12.1 i will give here 192.168.12.1 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shut and if you want to check we can write here do show ip interface brief why i am writing do here because i am inside the global configuration mode if i want to run show command inside the global configuration mode i need to write do So if you see, we assign the IP. Okay, this interface. If you see here, one ninety two one sixty eight one dot one to fast Ethernet zero by zero, one ninety two one sixty eight twelve dot one fast Ethernet zero by one, one ninety two one sixty eight thirteen dot one for interface fast Ethernet one by zero. Okay, so IP address done. Now we need to enable the OSPF. So how we will do the OSPF configuration? We will write router OSPF one. Okay, I am using the interface method. after that write the interface which interface you want to enable the ospf i need to enable the ospf to all these three interface so i will go under the interface i will write ip ospf 1 area 0 okay i am using area 0 so i enable ospf under this interface now i need to enable ospf under this interface so i will write here interface fast ethernet 1 by 0 and then ip ospf 1 area 0 that's all and we have one more interface so i will write i uh, uh, interface f0/1 then ip ospf1 area 0 so that's all this is the configuration for the head office we finish here configuration in the head office i will save the configuration now we will go to the branch office so branch office is this one so go here same thing we need to do what we done here also first we need to assign the ip then we need to do the configuration So let me see here. Here also three interface you have. So you can do same thing what we done before. First of all, we will change the name of the router. I will write R two, and then we will write interface fast Ethernet zero by zero. I will write here IP address one ninety two one sixty eight twelve dot two. Sorry, twelve dot two 
give to uh, space 255.255.0 no shirt one interface finish i will do for the other interface this is the another interface f0 by 1 so i will write here interface f0 slash 1 ip address right here 192.168 2.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt so this one also done and one more interface we have this one fast ethernet 1 by 0 so i will write here fast ethernet 1 by 0 i will write here ip address 192.168.23.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and write no shirt here okay this way we will assign the ip if you want to check write do show ip interface brief so we assign the ip to all these three interface okay now what we will do we will enable the ospf routing protocol so router ospf process id i am using one i need to enable to all the interface whatever i am using currently so ip ospf one area i am using zero okay same thing what i use here same thing i am using here so I enable the OSPF to this interface fast ethernet 0 by 0. Now I will do for the other interface fast ethernet. I will do for the, let me, one minute. I will do for the, which interface? Fast ethernet 0 slash 1. Here I will enable the OSPF. Then I will enable the OSPF to other interface also. Sorry, this is 0 and this should be one this interface i am enabling so I'll go under that interface write this one so we enable the ospf to all the interface i will save the configuration if you want to check show ip ospf interface brief if you write this one whatever interface we enable the ospf you can see with this command so if you see this three interface we enable the ospf this one this one this one so ospf configuration done here we can close this and we can go to this other branch office and go to the CLI of the router and we can do the configuration here. Here first time we need to write no and after that enable config T change the name of the router as R3 and then assign the IP if you see F0 by 0 you have IP address what IP 13.2 I will assign here so I will write here 192.168.13.2 13.2 give space 255.255.255.0 and write here no shirt then you have another interface fast ethernet 1 slash 0 and write ip address whatever ip you wrote here let's see what ip we wrote this interface 3.1 so i write here 192.168.3.1 give space 255.255.255.0 and we will write no shirt here and then you have interface f0 by 1 okay then ip address 192.168.23.2 give space to 255.255.255.0 and we we'll write no shirt here okay and if you want we can enable the ospf let me write router ospf 1 and which interface we want to enable we will write interface f0 by 0 I will write IP OSPF 1 area 0 then which interface another interface F1 by 0 we will write IP OSPF 1 area 0 then other interface is F0 by 1 okay and we will enable IP OSPF 1 area 0 so if you see neighbor shift form I will save the configuration and if you see here what we can say we save the configuration and you can write show IP root you will get the OSPF root show IP root you can see OSPF roots are coming here this O is representing OSPF if you see here O is nothing but OSPF so you are learning here 1.0 2.0 and here is 12.0 so you are getting all the route if you want to filter show IP root OSPF so you can see all the OSPF routes you are getting here so routing protocol is working now you can check before it is not pinging now it should ping okay so if you ping let's see first packet second packet may be dropped for the ARP no need to worry ARP after that it will start working so if you see it is working perfectly and from here also you can try to access example this server if you want to access this server 
go to your browser and type the server IP 192.168.1.5. Okay, this server is in head office. You are in the branch office too. And when you write this server IP, you are able to access the server. So working perfectly, you have the reachability. Same thing you can do from here also. If you want to ping the other server or if you want to browse the other server, you can write 192.168.1.4 and you can check it is working perfectly. Okay. And if you want to ping also, you can ping it is working. If I ping from here, I am pinging from which PC 3.2 to 1.2. Okay, it is working. So branch office two is communicating with head office. And also if you want, you can check the connectivity from the branch office two to branch office one. So now I am writing here two dot two. So I'm pinging from branch office two to branch office one. It is also working. So this is a mini project. In this one, we connected the three branches by using the OSPF. Okay, so what we can write here, we can write mini project connecting three branches connecting two or three we can write connecting three office with the help of OSPF okay so later we will do more labs and more scenario now this is a basic you can say mini project connecting three office with the help of OSPF ISP is also there in between because the maybe one office in US, another office in UK, another office in UAE. So how it will connect it? We cannot run the cable this much long and we will take the connection from the ISP. So we taken the connection from the ISP. ISP is responsible to run the cable from the one country to another country or one city to another city. Just yes, ISP will give the cable. They will ask you use which connection. Here we taken the L2 connection it is like a layer 2 so it look like you connected to switch they told whatever IP you want to assign you can assign your wish IP and you can configure the any routing protocol because we taken the uh, layer 2 circuit from the ISP okay so we done this one any confusion any doubts if you have any confusion any doubts you can write in the comments and join our telegram channel because we are going to share this lab topology and more configuration everything in our telegram and the telegram channel description that is telegram channel link is going to be present in our youtube channel description so from there you can click and join our telegram channel okay thank you bye